Ew. Lou's gross. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Today, or tonight rather, we are going to do a video on my nighttime routine. I've gotten a lot of requests for this for some reason, I don't know. I'm assuming what those requesting this video want to see is what I do about this at night. If I don't wear makeup during the day, I don't wash my face. I know a lot of you think that's gross, but I just don't see any benefit to stripping all of the oils on my face. Not dirt, but oil. I don't really play in mud puddles much, so my face does not get that dirty. The first thing I do to remove my makeup is I use a wipe, a makeup wipe. Essential oils, facial cleansing wipes, aloe and seaweed. I don't know who makes this, but I know who sells it, and that is TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I don't see them for sale that often, so when I do, I buy lots. This first step is to just basically get that first layer of goo off of my face. And I'll show you what I get. That's my first swipe. Ew, Lou's gross. Gentle under the eyes, of course. And that's what I get. I make sure I get my eyebrows. I wanna get as much off as I possibly can. There's my eyebrows. And then eyeshadow, gently. I remember when I was young how rough I was on my face. I would just rub my eyes so hard. Not anymore. All right, there's still makeup on my face, obviously. Still lots of eyeliner and mascara to be gotten. Okay, while the water is warming up, I do wanna talk about something. Watch out, here comes a mirror. When I say washcloth, I mean scrubby, gritted, not super soft washcloth. This has a lot of texture to it. It's a little bit rough, like if you went to a hotel and they gave you this, you'd be kind of pissed. I wouldn't. The reason I have such a mean washcloth is because it exfoliates my skin. I've told you guys before, my skin is always peeling. And one of the ways that I get that dead skin off is by using a rough washcloth. The nice thing about these is they're cheaper than the fancy washcloths. I will be using one of these cream face wash slash makeup removers from Mario Badescu. Cleansing milk with carnation and rice oil or keratoplast, cream soap. Rice oil or cream soap. Hmm, let's do rice oil. Nope, let's do cream soap. Excuse me. All right, so this is gonna go all over my face. I don't neglect my neck. Wash that too. So once I feel like I've rubbed it around, including my eyes. Okay, wet washcloth. And just like they do when you have facials, I just put the whole thing over my head and I go upwards to remove whatever makeup is on my face still. And there was quite a bit of makeup. Now you guys, I might even do this twice because damn. Let's try the oil stuff now. I don't always, excuse me, I don't always wash my face twice, but just for fun, let's do it. Mostly because I want this mascara off. Oh, now I look good. Look at me. Hot washcloth, clean side. And I will wipe as much as I can off my eyes. And I think it's due to that rice oil face wash that the eye makeup is coming off a little bit better. Than the other stuff. So now what I do is I take a q-tip or something gentle and I use some eye makeup remover and this stuff is from Rhea. I'll put it down below and with the wet side of the q-tip go over my eyelids and then I take the dry side and I clean it up and uncover those blonde sexy eyelashes that I have. Here's another step that I would have to say 80% of the time I do do, and that is using a toner. Today I'm using Exuviance Moisture Balance Toner. Cotton swab and just go over my face and my eyes, which I don't recommend, but I'm doing it. Do as I say, not as I do. And with this, still wet and clean on one side, -da 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 -da, I actually go all the way to my chest, kind of my neck, just because you can't neglect that stuff. I don't put makeup here, but it does need a little something something. Okay, 
done with the porn. After that, before I do anything fancy to my face like serums, I'll spray it. And I actually, if I'm not wearing makeup, will do that during the day. This is Mario Badescu again. It's the aloe vera spray. And I mostly do this because it feels really good. And it doesn't taste bad. What else we got? Now, as far as routine, that word routine, I use different products probably every week. I try to use them enough to see if I get any benefit from them. I think today we'll just use stuff that I have used before. I have to go get it. I have three pairs of glasses here, so that's why they may have changed since the last time I put them on. Lactic acid from The Ordinary, and I either will use this on my freshly cleaned face, the lactic acid, or CE and Fluoric Acid Serum. Normally it's SkinCeuticals Fluoric CE or CE Fluoric, one of those. But I ran out and it's so stinking expensive, so now I'm using this Timeless brand, which I don't know if it works as well, but it's better than not using it at all. And I just dropped some of that in my hand. It's kind of watery. The, the one from SkinCeuticals is much waterier. Okay, next I'm gonna use a retinol from The Ordinary. So this is, like I said, it's retinol with, well, no, it's squalene with retinol. And this is the half percent? Yeah, half percent. So my face has retinol and oil all over it, except for around the eyes. Around the eyes, I use eye balm from SkinCeuticals. And I just take... All right, I keep flipping you guys off every video. And I just pat it under my eyes. And if any of the retinol happens to slip onto my finger and onto my eyelid or under my eye, I don't think that's a bad thing. I just don't put retinol directly onto my under or upper eyelids. So I think that's it. That's all I do before bed. That's all. That was a lot of things, actually. I think the very last thing as far as beauty is concerned that I do in my nighttime routine is I make sure I sleep on my back. You guys have all heard it before. I prevent wrinkles by sleeping on my back and letting gravity work for me and not pressing my face up on my pillow. And that also works for cleavage wrinkles. Anyway, if you want more information about that, sleeping on your back, It'll be down in the description box as well. But for now, that's it for this video on my nighttime routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Good night, guys.